Isaiah Joe is on fire from downtown. Ridiculous. Some rude moments in that video right there, Isaiah Joe, the man with two first names. Welcome. Uh, thanks for getting up early. That's just my... Shut up. I liked it. Here it we go. Funny. We yeah, love how's it. Good... Doing? How's doing? I, so your nickname, we just have to get it out of the way. I don't know why I have to ask it, but Stroke and Joe, where, where does that come from? <laughs> Shut up, Chandler. <laughs> uh, just Stuff like that just comes from the fans, man. They always have ideas, and they just throw them out there, and sometimes they stick. I know for... Uh, for a good chunk of time, it was a cup of Joe. So oh, I like they just throw things out there periodically, and it sticks. So I, I roll with it. It's cool. It's cool, Isaiah. I'm I'm named after a chicken wing, bro. So it happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's so little. conflicted, though. Yeah, Fairness. Stroke yeah. Joe. Yeah, it's fun. Like good. That sometime, it's a good off the court. Joe's, a good, Joe. Joe's good to do a lot with. It took me a while to get used to it, but I, I'm digging it now. Yeah, you used to hate it, it, it took right? Me like three years. Yours is legendary. Yours is. Well, uh, come on, come on. This isn't it. It is. It is. Come on, come on. See, everybody thinks that yeah, yours is actually good, and he didn't like it. Once, so keep that in mind if you ever. I just don't know what until I bought it. You should buy all your nicknames. Joe. Buy all your nicknames. Trademark them everything. <gasps> How Trademark many have you had? Name? So cup of Joe, stroke and Joe. What else? Uh, I've had GI Joe. Uh, Every Joe imaginable. Yeah, Joe I mean, Smoke, I'm pretty maybe? sure You got a Joe Smoke in there? That was rude. Joe Smoke. That is kind of rude. That's rude. Don't so was a yeah. cup of Joe. Well, You're not a cup of one? Joe. You're the uh, stroke and Joe. I think stands. Yes, uh, yeah, I think uh, a couple of Joe is the one I've heard the most. Um, That's just what I say. And then here recently was uh, yeah, Stroke and Joe. Stroke and Joe. But yeah, there's probably a lot more out there that I haven't even heard of yet. Yeah, mm. some you might not want to. I mean, we'll just leave it at that. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, <I mean. laughs> it happens to everyone. <laughs> All right, we've got to talk about the Thunder season, obviously. Um, did not end the way y'all hoped. It was a hell of a run, though, and it was fun to watch. But let me ask you this. Mavs going on to beat the Wolves and now playing the finals. As a player, does that help a little bit to ease mm. the pain? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 what Lou said, I mean, I mean yeah, because, you know, you get beat by a team and now that they're making it all the way, it's like, okay, that could have, that, that really should have been us. But, you know, now that they're there, it's like they deserve to be there and they were better than the next man up. And so um, it, it is a little bit easier for sure. I mean, we've talked so much about y'all's team and, and how you, it just seems like you guys are ahead of schedule even for a team that we've been waiting just, wow, greatness. Do you think you guys are championship built? Is there anything that you would change? I think after going through the playoff series um, this year, I think um, coming up next season that we will be a uh, championship built because we had just had a whole team of unexperienced guys in the whole <laughs> season. So um, now that we have the experience, you can't really beat that. And I think everybody's gonna, you know, have a chip on their shoulder going into the next season because you don't want to, you don't want to lose. And I think that um, that left a sore spot. So going into next season, um, I think we'll be, you know, much better built. Yeah, Isaiah, you guys are so much fun to watch this season with just the youth, the way you guys play. Um, is this the most fun you've ever had personally playing basketball? I know it didn't end the way you want. I know you want to still be playing now, but with the landscape of your team, the future, it looks like that's where it's trending. Is it, how much fun has it been playing on the Thunder? I um, mean, it's been amazing, uh, especially to have a young group of guys that are um, just so professional, um, no matter, you know, what's going down. We kind of operate like an AAU team at times. I mean, it's just we're all so free. Uh, we're all having fun at all times. When we win, you know, we bark and stuff. We, we started started that this year, so uh, that was uh, pretty cool. But I just I think when the season is so long, especially with a young team, just finding ways to have fun and staying engaged kind of helped us. So um, it's definitely been a joy. Yeah. Now, now tell us about this, because I love this. I love the the, the post-game interview, it's never just one guy. It's the whole squad. You guys are mobbing and, and the barking. Like, who came <laughs> up with this? How did this come about? Yeah, um, shoot. That started with the, uh, the Williams boys, the, uh, the two Jalen Williams on the team. They, uh, they started that, and uh, it, it got, you know, it got the roof going. Who would ever thought that barking would have been, you know, part of our mentality and part of who we were? So we'd be having the whole, the, uh, the whole arena barking now. <laughs> it is, it's funny, but you know now now they play the who let the dogs out at time to time. So it's, Baja it's, man, Baja man, <laughs> yeah. throwback, nice. Zay, I was um, uh, I was teammates with with SGA when he was a rookie coming into the league, and um, it broke my heart when he got traded because we had put so much work in together. But I, I want to ask you, what's it like playing with him 
because I was with him as a rookie. Now he's a young vet. What is it like for him to be a leader now? Because that wasn't his position when he was with us. When he was with us, he was one of the guys, one of the troops. He, uh, he was like, you know, he was going to follow our lead. But now it seems like you guys are following his lead. What is that like to, to play with SGA in, in, that, in that way? Man, he carries himself in, uh, in such a way that um, you can just learn so much from him. I mean, you can tell, you know, where he's been and where he's trying to go. I think what amazes me the most is just watching him day in and day out do what he does. Uh, people, don't, people don't operate like that anymore. People don't go out there and hoop like, like he does um, at his size doing, you know, doing the things that he does. So um, he's unstoppable. And to know that, like, every time he shoots the ball, like, it's going in. He's expanded his game. He shoots threes now. Um, even in the playoff series, he was putting up numbers, wasn't even taking any layups, like all mid-range. Like, hmm. He just knows how to get to it. Um, I think that's just um, something that, you know, I take pride in watching him do, you know, just, just get to it, get to the bag. There was a, uh, a Jalen Williams mic'd up game, and uh, the mic caught you two talking about SGA and how bad of a passer and uh, a lob he throws. Well, I mean, what is it about him that's just so awful? <laughs> He is paid to put the ball in the hole, and that's what he does. To stay in his lane. Do what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, do what you're supposed to do. Um, the style, the, I, almost, I almost cussed. Uh-oh, Isaiah Chandler's <laughs> getting to me. Um, the, the style stuff, his pregame outfits, I mean, they, he's... He pulls them up. There's the one. That's the one that comes to mind immediately. You know how sweaty I would be in that thing? I, it's, it, I don't even want to think about it. But what do you guys... Do you guys give him a hard time? Do you love the style? I mean, we, we know it's who he is, um, <laughs> and the audience that he's trying to attract and doing so, it works. It works for him. Um, he puts some fits together that, you know, I really like. He puts some together that I can really care, you know, care less <laughs> for, but it, it's, it's him. Um, I feel like if he came to the game in a Nike Tech, uh, Nike Tech jumpsuit, I'd be like, what's going on? What's the problem? Do we need to talk? That's a great point. Like, you know what I mean? So that's who he is, and um, hopefully he keeps it up. Speaking of style, your boy Chet got cooked on the team playing for uh, rocking a do rag and talking about getting cornrows. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, <laughs> oh god! Well, this wasn't real, right? So this was this he was playing. No, that's real, real. This was dead ass. What do you mean it's not real? <laughs> yeah, that's real, real. Uh, this is, I mean, he's one of the guys, man. This is who he is. I, mean, I think after that, though, he was, he's like, he's like, man, I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear a do rag again. He's like, man, they're on my head right now. Uh, but yeah, Chet, man, Chet's one of us, man. He, yeah, he's he got free range. That's a look. Like they said about Larry Larry Bird, he's not the white. Larry's clear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there, there's a lot of characters in that locker room. You got you mentioned it's kind of like an AAU team feel. Who's the funniest guy on this team? Oh shoot, that's tough. That is tough because we got a lot of characters. Low key funny guy on the team. Mm, Aaron Wiggins probably. Is, uh, Probably one of the funniest in my, in my eyes. Hmm. The top yeah, row. Yeah, yeah. Bad. <laughs> was it? All right, fair enough. See, that's why like you gotta it. ask the questions. It's over now. We've all lived through it. We can try to start to process the pain. How much did everyone hate? Wanna proud once, wanna proud me. It's like over and over. They just over played again. it too much. Too much, yeah. right? They, they, they did. They, 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 uh, they played it every chance that they got. I think they did that, you know, on purpose. But uh, honestly, I commend them guys for going up there and singing in a commercial. <laughs> Like, if I know I can't sing and I go up there and I'm singing, like, that, I got confidence in myself. So they, they you know, they did that. They got paid to do it, so. They did. Uh, but they did, they did play it. Every time, you know, commercial break was happening, oh. you heard that. Every single one. <laughs> Who loves to sing? You probably love that commercial. Yeah, I got caught singing today. <laughs> I said, uh, a few oh, years shoot. ago. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's early out here. I was trying to get my, my energy going. Sweet. But um, a few years ago, you were, you were waved by the, um, you were waved by the Sixers. Um, but you've thrived in OKC. Were you were you upset to not be a part of that process anymore? And what's clicked for you in OKC? What what's different? You know, obviously, you know, the league is about opportunities and scenarios and, and, and fit. What's what's happened for you in OKC that's that's made it work for you? Yeah, man. When all that happened, man, I just you know I I saw it as a, a new opportunity. Um, you know, so I, I got here. You know, went on full force. Um, got acclimated with the guys. I think what helped me the most is just the confidence that I had in myself, but also the confidence that, you know, the guys had in me. Um, they, um, they didn't send me to the G League right away when I got there. They gave me a shot on the court. So, you know, obviously having the opportunity to be out there, um, building that chemistry with the guys. Um, and ever since, you know, my first game, you know, just kind of hit the, hit the road running. Um, had that, you know, breakout game against Dallas. 
Uh, and then, you know, just kept it up from there. But, um, you know, just like I said, the confidence that the organization had in me, um, that, that, that took it a long way. Isaiah, we have a segment on the show called That Man Has a Family. <laughs> and what you did to Jeff Green earlier this year was highly offensive. <laughs> and it was probably the dunk of the year. Have you checked in on him? Have you talked oh, to him? Because, by the way, he came on the show, too, and we went over some of his posters. And for whatever reason, when you go with the left hand, it just looks way cooler. Just mean. But this just was, ain't cool to do this to this an old was man. Don't do this filthy. to the OG. That's you took Uncle out Jeff. one of the oldest guys in the league. <laughs> Why would you do this to this man? Oh, See, on the court, I'm, I'm not going to lie, on the court, there's no age number. It's just Clearly. they're soldiers and they're soldiers. Um, but man, Uncle Jeff, man, I you know I've looked up to guys like him, you know, all my life. Uh, he probably should, you know, just stepped out the way right there. I, but but in his in his defense, the last thing he's probably thinking is that I'm gonna go up and dunk this ball. So and I got down there, I was like, okay, this is the only way this is this is gonna happen. So. Um, you still got a bandage on your left pinky from that dunk, I bet. <laughs> no, man, this is this is actually something that I've had since last season, like last April. Mm. Wow. What is it? Yeah, it's just a like a really bad jam finger, and if I don't oh, like, shit. you know, have the brace on. Welcome like, to the yeah, NBA, yeah. man. Yeah. Everybody, everybody yeah. leaves with something. Everybody leaves with a gift. Every, well, no, er, everybody leaves. When with free something, agency you know comes I mean? and they say you're just a shooter, just keep rolling that clip of you putting your nuts on Jeff Green's head <laughs> because that's gonna help you get your back. <laughs> we couldn't get through oh, one show, man. Isaiah. We tried. We tried. Man, we appreciate you getting up early. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> Good luck, brother. I appreciate, I appreciate it, y'all. man. Go we'll be back. Run it up. Run it back. Run it up. Run it back, run it up.